colonialism is, is white, white power rule uh, under an indigenous or black or brown face. In order to continue the same kind of policy and process that has been going on year in and year out. Now, I'm not accusing Barack Obama of being a neo-colonialist. I just want you to understand what neo-colonialism is so you can call him a neo-colonialist. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not really more interesting to do that. I really do. Because where we've seen black mayorship, where we've seen black governorship, where we've seen th over 30, 40,000 black elected officials since the 60s, we've not yet seen the quality of life in our community change at all. So then, so what's changing? So then if you look at that and you have to ask yourself, then, then what is changing if, if our quality of life is not changing? I think you have the creation of this black petty bourgeoisie, middle class that holds sway, they do, and, they, and will do whatever power says. If George Bush is in power, you got all these handkerchief head Negroes going that way. But when, if the working class says, this is, what's, this is what's the most important campaign, you're gonna find all of them people coming this way, this way. So it's important for us to state our issues, to be able to ca call it what it is when we see it, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really scared as hell, you know, I'm saying what's the good, we, they burn out in our community. And wherever we got black elected officials, we see the most kind of misery, you see the influx of drugs. I, I'm, and I'm not trying to be this, uh, this, this uh, you know, uh, this dark cloud over this process, because I know if we can't have some hope. Matter of fact, if we, if we do the right thing, we can push our agenda. The thing is, we push our agenda and let them figure out how to legalize and, push, and, uh, and use the politics to get their way out of this tight situation. We want Mumia free. We don't just want him uh, the, the, uh, the death penalty, uh, you know, eradicated. We want him free. He's an innocent man. So here, there's, there's, we have, you know, uh, no compromise in that way. We need to put that to the wall and say this is important to us, and that's what we have to go from here. So that's that's where I come in, and, and um, you know, thank y'all for letting me talk.